Greetings to you all and welcome to Let's Play Golden Axe. But this doesn't seem quite right. This is Golden Axe for the Master System. Now you might not know what the Master System is. It's kind of the Sega equivalent to the NES. It's a previous generation. If something is very wrong with this game, why on earth is Axe summoning the Fire Dragon? What does... Okay, so I'm quite familiar with the game of Golden Axe for the Mega Drive, that's the Sega Genesis. But I've never played the Master System version, I never even knew it existed. But this is quite a common thing that they did back in the day. They would release a game for both the Master System and the Sega Mega Drive at the same time. The idea being, maybe you've got the old console and you don't want to buy the new console. You can still play the new games. Nice. Generous. I think we still do a little bit of that generosity nowadays. Not not so much, but, you know, every now and again. But exploring all the differences in the game is going to be... an adventure. For all of us. I've immediately... come to the understanding that... our team of Axe Battler, Tyrus Flair, and... that dwarf guy has been collapsed into Axe Battler, Earth, Fire, and Thunder. Which is a little disappointing, but we all want to see a dragon, so let's pick fire. I am here, I move, I skip frames with every step. Good lord, I shift. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I've already found the hit detection to be somewhat lacking. But the, the basic bare bones of the game are here. I've got jump, I've got attack. I'm not sure if the Master System has enough buttons in order to really utilize a magic system, so that's going to be interesting. How did I just jump so high? Was I dashing? Oh, I can dash! I'm genuinely amazed that dashing made the cut. It seems the options screen did not. Which I'm okay with. Now, my experience of Golden Axe, besides playing at 15 frames per second, is that the different colours of the enemies determines their strength. And there's either not enemies with white uniforms, or... If there are any, they're quite late on. I can't remember exactly. But this doesn't look right. But I'm doing okay. I've got a health bar. I've got a life bar. Well, number. Numbers aren't really bars, are they? I've got a magic bar. We saved it. We found another bar to complete our analogy. And the level is reminiscent of level one of Golden Axe. So far, this is looking like a perfectly serviceable D-Master. Give me this thing. What? Okay, that was the dash attack. I wonder why I just raised my beak in anger. But apparently I was dashing and didn't notice. It must have been in the subframes that you don't see. We're saving money here. By only animating half the frames, we've saved a whole lot of... Well, not, not money so much as memory space, I guess. Apparently we couldn't put in the empty bag sprite for these poor little guys whose name I don't know. Seems sad that I massacre them and I don't take the time to learn their names, but... It is what it is, and I'm not alone in that. I know you all do the same. Am I dead? No, I'm okay. I was just having a nap. Oh, the lag has kicked in. My sprite is disappearing out of existence every now and again, but that's okay. We don't have the kind of processing power to correctly animate the main character. That's of secondary importance, so long as those... ...trees in the background are okay, then I'm okay. I need to play the original game side by side to make sure those trees are there. Must be accurate. just come to my attention that the reason my sprite couldn't load is because the go arrow or sword is on screen. Hello. Aren't you people a boss? But you have a theme? I always liked the way you guys had theme music. H how do I cast a spell? Anyone know? Maybe both buttons together? We got it. It's not my spell, but it's a spell. And I will cast it happily. It didn't hit this guy. Uh, that's disappointing, but... We'll, we'll make do. On the plus side, when they get hit by the tail, they sit on the floor for the next six weeks, so... You know, swings and roundabouts. 
The master system giveth, the master system taketh. I seem to be consistently at sprint speed and yet not doing my sprint attack. It's actually kind of convenient. Alright, see you later. That quill was smooth, though. Why can't I move like the quill? It was so fast, I bet you didn't even notice it was a quill. I don't understand the way these two pieces of land are connected. Okay. Neither did he, apparently. So one of the main attributes of Gordnax, of course, is knocking people off the level so you don't have to kill them. I mean, it does kill them, but... You can kill them more efficiently, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. I tried to do a back attack, ended up setting fire to the whole village. Disappointing, on many levels. Probably more disappointing for the villagers than anyone else, but... If at the end of the day Death Adder's defeated, then I, I think it's okay. Oh, plot, right. This game has plot. It, what? I mean, Golden Axe has plot. This particular version doesn't seem to have plot, it just has demos of me casting spells. I'm already at the end of stage two, is that correct? Seems very short. Whatever, give me the dragon. So, at the plot, Death Adder's a very nasty boy, and he's kidnapped the king and queen, but not killed them, because he's not that nasty. So now we've got to go and kill Death Adder, because we're heroes. That's what heroes do, they kill people. People who've taken hostages and haven't actually done any harm. But yes, we're gonna go kill Death Adder to save the King and Queen, I think. I'm not sure that's gonna translate, so maybe I'm just out for blood. I don't know. But what I do know is the enemy are utilizing dragons. And they should be utilizing a red dragon that spits fireballs instead of breathes fire, but... Seems that was beyond... ...the master system, so instead we're just gonna have another blue dragon. But that's okay. at least it's a dragon. Two dragons at once is taxing the system, you can feel... ...the lag. My eyes are starting to give out on me. I'm not even sure how these hits are connecting with the enemy. I'm grateful though that he left the screen. It'll make the game more playable. Having no menu at the start of the game is interesting though. How do I change the difficulty? or well, the number of starting lives. We'll play the sound test. You know, the most important things you can do in a game. I was mashing attack the whole time. I'm not sure why I automatically mounted that dragon. Some kind of compulsion. You, food man. Very good. Food restores one health. You cheeky swine. And that guy ran off before he gave me any. So the blue guys give you mana pots. That gives you mana. More mana. You do bigger spells. The red guys give you food. Normally they're green. Don't know why they're red in this game. I'm surprised you didn't fall backwards there. But you do... Whoa, wait a second. Did I just spit a fireball in the wrong direction? This music track is vaguely familiar. Not at this level of fidelity, but... You did code in the fire-breathing dragons, you just didn't make them red, you kept them blue. Is it really that taxing to put a second colour in the game? I don't know, I'm no designer. I'll tell you what though, when I want to, I can shift. If I move diagonally, I move at 1.41 times the speed. Someone check my maths on that, I think that's right. that once I get the pet, it's over. The original game... It's quite a brutal attack. I'm still alive, despite having no health. Alright. In the original game, the animals were a big part of it, of course, but they weren't the only thing. They seem a much bigger part of this game. I think there are people watching this video who have only known modern games. They're looking on in disgust. 
How could people have enjoyed games like this in the past? I also don't really know. This predates me. A little bit, kind of, maybe. I had a master system, okay, I'm old. Leave me alone. Oh, I didn't have this game. I have two memories from the master system. They are Alex Kidd and Sonic. Which, surprisingly enough, is a completely different game on the master system. I'm not sure why. Oh, good heavens, I jump. Chances of me making this are very low. We've got two choices. We can run and jump, which doesn't do much, except make you go higher for some reason. Or we can run and attack. I'm gonna run and attack. Okay, I'm gonna run and jump this time. I promise run and attack works in the... I was gonna say base game. It works in uh, the Mega Drive version. I promise. That mini boss just died in one hit because I knocked him off a hill. Also, something you can't do in the Mega Drive version because they... The screen scrolls further to the right. You don't have access to this platform anymore. Such hammer to the skull is a bit rude, my friend. It's the sudden speed burst that gets me. Ooh. Not sure what's happened here. Some kind of battle for the ages. We must be perfectly parrying our attacks. Nope, that ain't it. You gotta step forwards under his swing. He never expects it. Do that. I need all the mana you've got. I can do with yours as well. If you don't mind. Thank you, my friend. That's a lot of magic. That means we can cast one big, powerful spell. You see the little breakpoint in the mana bar? Every time we cross a breakpoint, the spell upgrades to the next level. So, one magic and four magic are all the same spell. That's the penalty for playing Tyrus, who's not Tyrus, it's Axe Butler. That's the penalty for playing Fire. You have the most powerful spells, but you need a lot of magic to get there. And with only a small amount of magic, your spells are weak, comparatively. Whereas other characters only need two magic to complete the first level. Let's do it. Our most powerful spell we've got. It's a volcano. It normally erupts, but this time it, it's not feeling it. It's powerful, though. And now I will shoulder charge this guy, because I know that works on the Mega Drive version. Double tapping is surprisingly difficult. Well, curses. I'll take a continue, sure. They seem to be free. I'm not sure how anyone evades my attacks when I cover half the screen in one invisible frame, but somehow he found a way. I shall now camp outside this door. Ah, meat on the bone. Best kind. Can't go over three hit points. Fiend's Path. Aptly named. Looks like a castle. I'm just enjoying the music, alright. It's difficult to enjoy this music. It takes concentration on my part. But I'm trying. It's evoking nostalgia. And to be perfectly honest, to whoever built this hut, the door isn't tall enough. Look, I can't get in, and neither can this guy, and he's hunched. If anyone stands upright in this world, they won't get in. The mysterious double height jump is still throwing me off. Points if you can figure out what this thing is. That I've just stepped onto. I call it a thing that gives away slightly. And this isn't just terrain anymore. 
Now skeletons are a notoriously tanky enemy and they also do a lot of damage because they can combo. I don't know if these ones can combo, but traditionally they can. Camping Ledges is incredibly strong against these enemies because they have to do this dramatic jump up in order to reach you. They can go down pretty sharpish, but upwards is their downfall, ironically. Yes, they can combo in this game too. So an individual attack isn't that strong from a skeleton, but when they hit you once, they generally will hit you three times, so they do surprisingly large amount of damage. Should we call them a basic enemy? Let's call them a basic enemy. So they're quite frightening for a basic enemy. They're a kind of upgraded basic enemy. I need a term for upgraded basic. It seems counterintuitive. You're right, chaps. It's an ominous looking piece of ground. I hope nothing happens here. Spoiler, something's gonna happen here. Being particularly cautious with this fight because I'm on my zeroth piece of health. Just left the stratosphere with a previous jump there, but that's alright. Everyone's comboing me now, making the skeletons just look like regular enemies. Turning around is remarkably difficult. Don't know if there's any science behind this, but I've always found the enemies with the clubs to be easier than the enemies with the maces. Not sure why. Maybe it's psychological. When the numbers are down, it's easy. Well, not that easy, apparently. I'm very disappointed in you, game. I shall purify you in flame. And it will kill absolutely no one. That is how powerful my magic is. So what I was expecting to happen here was the skeletons to emerge from the ground. But... Apparently not. Apparently they walk in off the side of the screen. That's just as good. I wasn't expecting another wave, I'll be honest. Though Jump Slash seems to be the ticket to winning every fight here. Pretty nifty. I'm a little concerned that I might not have infinite continues in this game. So we're gonna try our damnedest not to lose this life. Jump slashes do reasonable damage. They do more damage than grounded slashes. Why? Not sure. They're also substantially safer. I'm too fast for my own good. I can't pick him up. Perfection itself. The Fiend's Path has been conquered. I hope you got your guesses in as to what this place is. Why is this pot bigger? No idea. That's right, I've been on the back of a great eagle this whole time. Well, since the floor turned green. This thing? It's an eagle. Yes, couldn't you tell? Look, as his eye. Why are there skeletons growing out the back of an eagle? I don't know. What's happened to my frames? I don't know. 
I am pressing attack, I promise. Okay, I only get one attack per jump. I just walked off the level, okay. Please! I am pressing attack, I swear. We found the limitations of the game. It's three enemies at once. A poor depiction of an eagle and half a song. If we kill some enemies, things should improve. I need to get away from the screen. There's too many colours. That's the real problem here. We're up to the dizzying heights of about three. Interesting enough, breathing fire onto someone's body while they're laying on the ground does not harm them. Like they're just headbutting the air above them. One of those things is more logical than the other. You have to be faster than that, mate. When a game starts degrading to this sort of level, you start to wonder if your hardware is alright. Is my console playing okay? Is my controller still fully functional? I don't know. I have to test them afterwards or something. Half of my inputs are just getting deleted now. It certainly upped the difficulty of the game, that's for sure. Well, this dragon has decreased the difficulty of the game somewhat. Whichever attack I accidentally perform it seems to work well. I'm not sure why I kept walking around as much as I did. This seems reasonable. It only took three presses to get that fire breath out. What? That's the end of the stage. What are you talking about? Why is this stage continuing? That was the boss. He's dead. Those two guys. Touché, little man. Touché. Though this is ominous, because this looks like Etada's castle, which, looking at the bottom of the screen, appears to be floating. Impressive. Is that the throne for the king and queen who we're here to save? I think we've made it. I said Death Adder's castle, but it, I, I don't know. I think it's actually the king and queen's castle. I think Death Adder took it over. But that would imply that they live beyond the fiend's path. I don't know, maybe they're not nice. I don't, know, I don't know much about the king and queen, to be honest. I am fairly sure the level was supposed to end after you kill those two... Lieutenants, I think they're called. Lieutenant Biter? I'm really testing the old memory to get the boss names from this game, except for Death Adder. Never mind, I'm fine. I always forget that I have extra HP on zero. Staying on the ground and swinging my sword is the surest way to die. That much is clear. I need to stay airborne at all times. I would use more dash attacks, but it's very difficult to double tap. Y you wouldn't believe how hard it is. I just tried one then, for fun. Death Hatter. My one true foe- I only get one continue in this game. I've been looking for you for 24 minutes, you swine. I'm A, I'm a plus rank though, that's pretty good. And I used player 6? Six lives, I guess. Oh, Axe. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get back there, but I'm gonna pick a different character for a different magic experience. I'm gonna pick the Earth magic of Axe Battler instead of the Thunder magic of Dwarf Man. His name is Gaius Thunder something, but... I don't know what it is, so he shall henceforth be Dwarf Man. 
Nevertheless, I'm gonna get back to that stage. Give me one moment. Okay, and we're back. So, I just beat the two lieutenants that you can defeat by standing still and doing this. Good times, good times. We're about to approach the throne once more. If you're looking at my lives, going two, that's pretty good, you haven't lost a single life. Oh, no, 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 I've lost the whole continue. Ah, uh, those enemies still tough, are they? No, not really. I died twice at the jump. You know the one I died once at last time? Yeah, that one. Twice. It's been a rough day. But I've been defeating most everyone with Jump Slash. And now that I have an audience, I imagine I'm going to get absolutely destroyed by... This guy. Okay, so we've got two lives. We've got no dragon. Was it this guy and then Death Adder immediately? I think it was. For you, it's been mere seconds. For me, it's been, I don't know, ten minutes. I got back here pretty fast. You've missed out on all the pretty spells, though. Spoilers, they, they, they don't look great. But you'll get to see one in a minute. That's exciting. Something to look forward to. No, there were skeletons first, all right. Fortunately, I mastered skeletons. I managed to defeat the three waves of skeletons on top of the back of the eagle. Yeah, it doesn't make any more sense now. Without taking a single point of damage. So now I've set myself up for unbelievable amounts of failure. But I'm willing to take that risk. This is it, by the way. This is the tactic. Just never stop moving and they can't hit you. Attacking on the ground for forces you to stop moving. It's not worth it. Attacking in the air, however. Well, then momentum's your friend. With momentum on your side, there's nothing you can't do. Good lord, don't do that. No idea how hard Death Adder's actually going to be. He might be rock solid. Didn't I go into him with one point of health last time? Alright, bring it, mate. Stop flashing. Powerful stuff. It doesn't look that bad, alright? But that is lagging the game pretty hard. I'm always curious that the game's called Golden Axe and then he comes out with a wooden stick, but... There is a reason for that. It'd be interesting to know if this game delves into it. I'm not going to explain it. Because it could be a good twist. That's quite the... weapon reach you've got there. Makes me wonder why I didn't pick a slightly longer range sword. Like, screw that. I could take one of these scimitars off of a skeleton. It seems to have more reach than I've got. Okay, I get the feeling that Jump Slash is going to carry me to victory once more. Just the window for Jump Slashing has got narrower. I really wish the skeleton would die. He's making this fight unnecessarily tense. I have a feeling that without the skeleton I could just stand over Death Adder's corpse. Well, it's not a corpse yet, but... His body when it's laying on the ground. I could just jump slash him when he stands up. Although mistiming that's gonna get me killed. So it's probably not the best plan. It's fun though. I've never seen such a speedy skeleton. He doesn't have a single muscle in his... He doesn't have a body either. He doesn't have a single muscle on his bones. How does he accelerate at such speed? 
Fantastic, don't cast spells. Come on, that's cheap. Ignore the spell I cast at the start of this fight. That one was allowed. That was fine. That was for demonstration purposes. It's a miracle I'm still standing after taking one of those to the gut. All right, mate, all right. It's like he doesn't want me to stay at range from him. But if I stay at range, I can never hurt you. Surely that's a good thing. Don't you understand you're destined to lose this fight? Maybe he just wants me to get on with it. Put him out of his misery. It is an epic, intense battle for the ages. It will be once he gets back on screen. If I walk directly through him, he doesn't seem to be able to swipe me. But if I approach on a horizontal plane, then he gets me. The diagonals are too much for him. See? We've all got our weaknesses. Diagonals is an odd one, but perfectly valid. Horizontal movements to attack, diagonal movements to evade. It's the one-two punch. He's got some longevity in him. Okay, okay, making things exciting. Last life. When Death Adder dies, he usually gives out a manly groan of pain. I'm expecting the same thing. Despite this console's audio chip. I was disappointed. You cannot believe the disappointingness. Disappointation. Me big sad. No, Death Adder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Plot. I haven't finished reading that. Ta Ta Axe Battler's name is Tarek. Why? Anyway, it's my axe now. I shall take the golden axe that's made of wood with me. And before you say, it's it's the tip that's gold. No, 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 that thing was silver. I, I don't even think it was made of silver. I think it was iron or steel or something. Wait, I've, I've been glossing over things here. Did I become a mighty ruler by killing everyone with the axe? Neat. Oh, hey, that's me with the axe. Spoilers on the main screen. And I'm gesturing. I don't... I don't know what that gesture could possibly mean. But that was... Golden Axe. For the Master System. Why was the axe not gold? Well, in the Mega Drive version, after you saved the King and Queen by killing Death Adder, who, who didn't seem to exist in this game, but their throne still had two chairs, which is interesting. But after you save them, they reveal that there's actually more enemies deeper inside the castle, and you go in the castle afterwards, and you go kill Death Adder's dad. And he's got the Golden Axe. Big spoilers, I know, but I think I can get away with giving spoilers for a game quite this old and short, with plot that matters quite so little. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Maybe you're angry at me. But hey, that was Golden Axe. For oh, the Sega Master System. I didn't expect it to be good. I expected it to be a little better. Because I played Streets of Rage on the Master System, and that's pretty decent. Graphically, this is great for the Master System. But... It's, it's really bad, the lagging, the slowdown, and the... It eats your inputs when it's lagging, and... Oh boy, it's not good. But I, I wondered what this was like compared to the Mega Drive version, and now I know. I've been Ortega Omega, I do random Let's Plays of whatever game takes my fancy. I'll probably put some up on the screen in a moment. Check one of those out if you'd like. Nevertheless, thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you then.